people will will go to their houses, will go to bars and watch him live. There would be no traffic at all. What? <laughs> A Filipino invented karaoke machine. No. What? Thank you, Filipinos. Thank you. You saved my weekends. <laughs> Okay, so today I will tell you about 12 fun facts about the Philippines. Yup, yay, I'm excited. What would be your first impression about the Philippines? I think Philippines is definitely for what we saw very diverse country. Mm -hmm. I feel like Philippines is a Brazilian version of Asia. Mm -hmm. I really want to go there and I feel that it's as well like it's very diverse and from what I see it's very colorful. I don't know if I'm correct or not, but like from what I've seen it's very colorful and I love colors. So. I have a lot of like Korean friends that were either born in the Philippines or grew up there. I think it's quite common for like younger Korean students to go to school in the Philippines. From what I know, I've, it's not a confirmed fact. Uh, does that mean that there's a lot of islands? It's a mix of America and Spain. Oh. Which would make sense because like there's a lot of Spanish words in Philippines. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's a it's similar language actually. Tagalog has a lot like. Um, Celia, we also know one of those tres. So you guys are partially correct, but the purpose of this image is when you add America and when you add Europe as a whole, it would still be less in terms of texting because Filipinos are number one texting um, race. Like texting, like yes. Oh, texting. that's why you said good with keeper. Yeah, they are. They are. And one of the things is um, mainly because. Transportation is quite hard for us. Just to see your friend is quite hard. So what we do is basically we just text them, how are you? So instead of meeting often. Mm. That must be hard, but like it's it's kind of like implicit in the in the con in like the culture, right? Like you guys are used to it, right? Yeah, we're quite used to we call this drawing, like let's plan a beach outing and then it never happens. Like, oh let's meet someday. Yeah, sure. That's it. <laughs> because sometimes um it would cost you a lot of hours just traveling to go to one place because basically I a lot four hours that's back and forth um, going from my house to my office. So that's two hours of traveling to my office which is roughly eight kilometers away. That's a lot of commute for me so it was really hard. So instead of seeing you, being happy to see a friend, you would pay more on the transport if you use Grab or taxis because that's more convenient for you because you wanted to look fresh, right? When you meet a friend. But so, yeah, I think we've expressed a lot through texting and we don't just say everything in one message. We say like, hi, how are you? Like that, <laughs> like emoji, emoji. Yeah, probably. So overall, we have 142 billion texts a year. So, could you imagine? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. That's a lot. I don't think I text like any part of it. Like, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm the worst. I have a question. Is it applied for a working place too? Because like, there are a lot of places like they rather send an email. Like, are you also like... Yeah, we have to send through email. But I think this, this um, ratio is for just texting. Mm. Yeah, just texting. Mm. <laughs> Do you guys know that we have the longest Christmas celebration. What? Yeah. Christmas starts on September. What? It starts on the Burr month. So on September, you would basically hear Christmas carols. Horrible, I feel. I feel like that's horrible because I, I already suffer like one month of Christmas. Yeah. I can't imagine like hearing Christmas from September. So basically, August is you know, it's not Christmas season, but when you start going to the Philippines on September, October, they would probably be putting up a lot of decorations for Christmas. Oh my god. Well, at least it's gonna be beautiful for a very long time. Because everything gets colorful and light. <laughs> Sometimes it lasts until February. So. Oh my god! I believe we have the longest um, Christmas celebration because it's really our the biggest um, holiday for us. Oh. So some offices, they give at least one to two weeks off for the whole management, you know, take a break. But that depends, that depends. But I've experienced some, like two weeks break because it's Christmassy. Oh my god. Um, I'm changing my mind, I'll go to Philippines. <laughs> I like it already. <laughs> 
really interesting. I would never thought about these facts yeah. before. Mm -hmm. What is this picture of exactly? Like, is it somebody's house that they decorated, or, or no, it's a church? church? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't. It's uh, in front of the church. Basically, what we call Simbanggabe. Simbanggabe is we go to. It's like the nine days before Christmas. So we go to church um, on those nine days before Christmas. Like you have to go like consecutively, like every day for those nine days. That's so cool. It is, I had no idea. I think it would be really fun, like for things to be that festive for that long. But I would get really sick of hearing mm. the, the Christmas the carols. The Christmas carols, I think, yeah. is the... I don't know, but for some reason I'm not sick of it. Like. Mariah Carey on September. <laughs> Actually, I'm the same as you. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll be really glad to hear it a, a little bit longer time. And then I like the countdown, like 100 more days countdown. Oh. 100 more days before Christmas, something like that. That's so cute. That's a cute thing. I like it. Really? I had no idea. <gasps> I guess because of the Icelands? Mm -hmm. Because they have many Icelands, so yeah. they were talking about the Island country. So languages in the Philippines is more than 170 fascinating dialects, so it's more than that. So, but basically for me, I just know two. I know the main one, which is Tagalog and English. We basically use Tagalog and English when we work. I feel like it'd be really hard to like, if somebody spoke like a different language from you, and you just like went to a new city and you're like, I'm gonna move to a new city, and then everybody speaks something else, and you're like, never. <laughs> Can you understand? Oh no, I, I cannot understand no. the others. Like it's completely different languages. Yeah. Basically, Tagalog and English is the main um, language in the Philippines, so this is what you get from school. So majority of my subjects are in English, and um, some are in Tagalog as well. So like Tagalog is common for everyone, and then everyone it has will, like It's day. common, yeah. Like for news and everything, for dramas, uh, Tagalog is being used. Taglish, we have Tagalog and English combined. That's really cool. Yeah. That's cool. It's like having a secret handshake, yeah. but in every <laughs> in every part of the city. <laughs> Huh? Okay. <laughs> Are they going to somewhere? Tell me, Philippines is the one of the places that have more people in the world. Is it like a university? So, Manila um, is the capital of the Philippines, and it's the most congested capital all over the world. Ah. Mm -hmm. In the world? Yeah, in the world, it's the most congested one. Oh my god. So, I'm not sure if you guys can remember, but I was. Uh, I, I told you that I a lot four hours, at least two hours for my commute from my home to work because this happens. You need to wait and if, if the train doesn't work, I need to have an another alternative which is the bus. Oh. So the bus is really slow because it's really traffic so my best way would be the train. So they're all going for the train. So yeah, they're all waiting for train. So, so that's the queue this for is the waiting? train. That's the queue for the train. What? You know what's complaining about lying too? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm never complaining. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna take like an hour. Yeah. Oh, an hour? Yeah. More than an hour. Is it only at the time in the morning and the time when you go off to work? Or, or, or all the time? Oh, rush hours. Ah, uh, well still. R rush hours is really bad, but it starts like 6 a.m. People would pile up. I would cry, I would be in tears. Yeah. And to add to that, it's a hot country, so we're on the tropics, so imagine you. I think I, I, I'm voting, I'm, I'm outsider, but I'm voting for all the offices to have like showers for your comfort. There are. There are. There are. There are, there are. There are some offices, especially those um, PPOs or contact, contact call centers. Well, understandable, and that's good. Yeah. Good, good companies. Hmm? Church in a mall? What? Do they take all the chairs, put them away, and then it turns into a mall? Because they have like the 70% off sign. It's a center stage, yes. It's facility, like you can do concert there, but yeah, sometimes they also have church. So they put up a church every Sunday um, just to make it convenient for the people. So religion is important. Yeah, religion is really important in the Philippines. Is that really common? Yes. Actually, Indonesia too, but we never do this in an open space like this, mm -hmm. like for only for in the 12th floor or something. Oh. Ah, like it's a place reserved yeah. to be the church. Yeah. 
Yeah, to be honest, this is not much. Um, you, you don't get to see this every day, but funny thing is we have a lot of churches that it's really near uh, alongside the mall so yeah it's they want it to be convenient i guess yeah yeah religion is really um number one also fun fact about it um philippines is third catholic country besides from brazil brazil mm -hmm. and mexico mm -hmm. yeah no, I feel like in Europe it will be it will be higher. Like in Italy, or Italy would be higher, no? Mm -mm. Maybe like older generation, but like usually people my age are not that Catholic or. Because like now the the difference would be that Europe like brought that to, through generations, but like nowadays yeah. people they're like we're not up to it. Yeah. yeah. And in our countries is more like it's a still a thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It passes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Religion still exists in our country, so. Okay, so would you know that it's not only boxing that he gives up? He also, um, there are less um, reported crime rates whenever he has a match. Oh. Wow. What? So people is like, oh, because people is focused, right, on him? Yes. People will, will go to their houses, will go to bars and watch him live fighting. So yeah, and he would trim down the traffic. There would be no traffic at all. Oh my god! I'm going to the subway then. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the holiday. Philippines is like empty whenever he has a match, and there are less reported crime rates. <laughs> yeah. Just brings people together. That feels like soccer in Brazil. <laughs> yeah. Like when there's a soccer match, there is nothing. Everybody's there watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So something like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, stop. <laughs> And nurses, I think, it just oh, they the, have the, the little head. 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 Would you guys also know that a quarter of nurses worldwide, a quarter of them are from the Philippines? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. oh my god. We're in demand though. <laughs> yeah. That's so interesting. I had no idea. Yeah. So like people growing up, like girls and guys wants, wants to go to be... Yeah, yeah. I mean, nurses would be one of your... Your parents would ask you to, why don't you go for nursing? Because it's it's you know top notch overseas. But yeah, so they would like to, they basically would like to be a nurse just because of that. Basically, major some some of them would be, I would want to be a nurse because I want to work abroad. Oh, okay. I want to work overseas. Yes, I noticed that when I was living in Singapore, so I went for health check. So first station is the, the person's checking on me is Filipino. The next station, Filipino. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, ah, <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of them. Mm. That is so beautiful. Is yeah. that a village up there? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm yeah, moving so there. Cute. This is like fairy tale. It looks like fairy tale. Yeah. <laughs> it is some kind of animation drawing. Yeah. Mm, feels like it's coming out of a Ghibli. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, exactly. I was thinking about that. Okay, so it would stretch out halfway. It would cover halfway around the earth. So it's really that. It's man-made, by the way. Oh, it's man-made. Yeah. yeah, because they do the details in this little tiny yeah. part of... And it's like, it even goes past the, the village. village. Yeah. It's just, it's all the way up. Yeah. yeah. It's so beautiful. Imagine trying to climb from the bottom to the top. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question somewhere. Three days later. <laughs> so, yeah. And um, it's one of the world's um, greatest treasure. And you don't even see like a road or anything leading out, at least from this angle. Yeah. By there. This is actually the path, right? When the farmer goes. Oh, you have to. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. That looks hard. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Once you reach there, it's peaceful. Karaoke. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. I think I know this one. I know this one too. Do you guys know that uh, a Filipino invented karaoke machine? Oh, really? What? Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. The, the Google told me to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Filipinos. Thank you. You saved my weekends. <laughs> we really love to sing, and we have lavish parties, so gather a lot of times. But one of the ways on how we de-stress ourselves is through karaoke. So we sing. I heard that uh, every family has one karaoke system at home. Yeah, I know, I know that. Is it true? Yeah. 
We are so passionate about singing, even if we don't know how to sing. We have a saying in Portuguese. I don't know if it's Portuguese, Portuguese, or just Brazil. But we say like those who sing like throw away the fears. So like throw away the bad things. Oh, oh nice. wow! In Portuguese, it sounds better. <laughs> For the home karaoke machine, is it like a tiny one? I had a tiny one growing up. Or is it like a full? In the Philippines, we have a full one. <gasps> Yeah, it's really big. Like you have the buttons. It comes with the stereo. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh, that's that's so, like it's something professional. Yeah, I told you everyone has to have one in a family because that's our main source of you know fun entertainment. Mm. That sounds so happy. Yeah. 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 yeah it's so sad. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh what? What is this? Is that like a bus car craze or something? I've never seen that before. Yeah, me too. Or just bus decoration competition or something. <laughs> it's actually one of our mode of transportation. What? Yes. Um, so it's called jeepney. Jeep for short, and um, it's one of our ways to go to our work, to go to house. I've been so cool with one of those. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I heard that it can hold up until. 18 passengers, I'm not so sure. So every person that owns one just decorates it however they it Yeah, however they want. However they want. They, yeah. they want it to look like a Ferrari. Um, like a kind of way to express yourself. Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah. The other one has Jesus in it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Can you imagine like it's a dreary day, you're like going to work, it's a Monday, you're sad, depressed, and then the, one of these bad boys pulls yeah. up and it's like, do it, do it! <laughs> One thing about it is that they have this music, really, really loud music. Yeah. Oh, it's even better. Yeah, that's even better. But that's just how we want to have fun, so I guess. I love it. That's we funny. we need more of these. In the we world. need more of these more. in the world. Mm -hmm. Yo yo. Okay. Don't tell me Filipinos invented the yo yo. Really? Oh. <laughs> so, um, yo yo was first invented by Filipinos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. Have you guys played it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, I don't think it's so popular now, right? Like nowadays, I don't see the kids playing that anymore. Yeah. But I remember when I was a kid, like in school, like sometimes we would have like yo yo competitions and like everybody was like choo, 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 and doing those weird things. And I was like, I cannot even make it come back up. <laughs> Good times. It's nice that we were able to experience it. Yeah. In the Is it a church on a boat? Um, no, it's a little island. The lighthouse. Oh, I like house. So, um, this is the island of Kamigin. Oh, it's an island. Yeah. It has more more volcanoes than towns. So what? It has, uh, yes. It has seven volcanoes and it only has five towns. So, basically, if it's an active volcano, we would get like a warning. Like, we need to evacuate as soon as possible. So, Are there more volcanoes like in the Yeah. Phoenix? We're in the Pacific Ring of Fire. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Even in my my home, um, I live in Manila, and we have this place like the nearest volcano. I guess from from my my place would be Taal, and it's still an active volcano, and it still sp spew ashes up until now. I want wait. Considering Manila, the way that we saw before, like in the rush hour, I wonder how it would be an evacuation in case it was needed. No, no, Manila is quite far. <laughs> is that a thing? It, it was quite far from us, but at the same time, we were able to experience um, it's like raining ashes, mm. raining of ashes because it's not that far and it's not that near. Mm. So we're on the safe side. It's just that we were able to experience those ashes. Got it. Oh. I was part of the um, a relief operation. Like we were helping everyone out. We're giving food because um, in that place. One of the main source of um, income is um, farming and at the same time uh, fishing, mm -hmm. fishery. So we were giving aids to those people. Good job. Yeah. Good Good job. Way to go, girl. <laughs> So guys, how was it? I learned a lot today. Yeah. yeah, I learned a lot. I'm impressed. I feel that it's like a sign just to go to the Philippines. Definitely. <laughs> I want to go to the peaceful part. That must be so beautiful. And in the Christmas event. Like I have to go Christmas time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you you can go September. Time. That's okay. There's gonna be like months there. For today I introduced 12 fun facts about the Philippines. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and comment down below. We will see you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.